cricket has seen its share of controversies. Cricketers need to know that they are icons, they are celebrities and many from all around the world look up to them as a role model. They need to keep a check on what they say as it can easily get controversial with all the media behind them. Today at Simply Chuma, we are here with the 10 most controversial statements by cricketers. Let's get started. Shoaib Akhtar, Tendulkar and Dravid are not match winners. Shoaib Akhtar, even after retirement, is still continuing his long run-up in the wrong lane. And it was clear from his correctly named autobiography, Controversially Yours. In his book, the speedster has clearly mentioned his hard times and glory days, coupled with his thoughts on arch-rivals, the Indian cricketers. According to Akhtar, the legends of Indian cricket, Sachin Tendulkar and Rahul Dravid, lacked particular skills. In his report, these two players were not the exact match winners for their side. He also went on to add that they usually struggled to cope with his pace, which caused a storm in the cricketing circle. Virender Sehwag Dhoni's captaincy alone didn't win World Cup for India. Virender Sehwag always talks from his heart. Sometimes his words do end up in controversy. After his retirement, the dashing opener has been vocal and entertaining on all social platforms. The audience loves him because of his witty replies and quirky one-liners, which sometimes gets him into trouble. One such instance was his comment on the World Cup winning captain, MS Dhoni. In the latter half of Sehwag's career, there were reports regarding the animosity between him and Dhoni. He constantly tried to downplay Dhoni's success as an Indian skipper. He went a step further when he stated that the men in blue were a strong team and MSD was not the reason behind India's World Cup triumph. A statement which hasn't gone all that well with a lot of people, including some cricket pundits. Greg Chappell You scratch my back, I scratch yours. The Australian cricketers are known for making reckless comments and the Chappell brothers are in the front of the row. In 2005, after John Wright left the Indian soil, the then-captain Saurav Ganguly backed Greg Chappell to take over the coaching role. Chappell got the job ahead of experienced campaigners like Dave Watmore and Graham Ford. Slowly, problems started brewing in the Indian dressing room, which was clearly affecting the team's performance on the field. All hell broke loose when Ganguly was ousted from the team. Soon, the Indian players were vocal about Chappell's negative attitude and it all ended on a sour note when the team was eliminated in the group stages of the 2007 World Cup. Immediately, the Australian resigned from the role and later he revealed his part of the story in his autobiography, Fierce Focus. According to him, Ganguly was expecting favours from his side and wanted to keep his captaincy title even after going through a rough patch. He has also described how senior cricketers controlled the Indian side during his tenure. Till now, all the Indian players have denied the allegations and added that it was he who took the country's cricket backwards. Chris Gale Don't blush, baby. During his career, Chris Gale has been part of many controversies, knowingly and unknowingly. The latter happened when he was giving an interview after a BBL tie to Mel McLaughlin, Network 10 commentator. The explosive batsman cheekily praised the presenter's beauty and invited her for drinks, which did not go down well. Within hours, Gail's comments were the headlines of various news channels and some people remarked him as a misogynist. The Universe boss was fined $10,000 for his misconduct and several other women came up with their bad experiences. Shahid Afridi Indians not as large-hearted as Pakistanis Afridi is one of the players who has always rooted for India-Pakistan ties, irrespective of the administrative relations between the two countries. He was the captain when the team played the semi-final against India in the 2011 World Cup. It was supposed to be a new beginning, but what followed after that was a cheap publicity stunt by the Pakistan skipper. Back home, after the team's loss, Afridi was invited as a special guest in the Sama News Channel. 
There he discussed various details regarding their match against arch rivals. But the talk show ended on a controversial note. Afridi slammed the Indian media for their negative approach and also termed Pakistanis as being better human beings than Indians. It was a needless statement that became a heated debate in the media. Vinod Kamli Sachin has forgotten me. In his early days, Vinod Kamli outshined Sachin Tendulkar, and nobody can forget his three consecutive centuries in Test cricket at the age of 21. Kamli was making headlines with his talent, but as fate would have it, he got involved in various off field antics and disciplinary issues. Since then, his career derailed quickly and he never regained his touch. Due to his frustrations, Kambli took the help of alcohol and drugs, which made matters even worse for him. He started blaming his former best friend, Tendulkar, for not helping him in his tough times. In a reality television show, Sach Ka Samna, Kambli even admitted that he was shocked when Sachin did not mention his name in his retirement speech. For a couple of weeks, the broken friendship between the two players became a national debate. Hardik Pandya – Sexist Comments Hardik Pandya is most often referred to as an Indian boy with a Caribbean flavour. His power-hitting game and relaxed character completely matched the traits of a West Indian cricketer. Due to his flamboyance, Hardik was on the guest list of Coffee with Karan, hosted by the Bollywood mogul Karan Johar. It is a candid chat show where the Indian all-rounder was accompanied by his colleague K.L. Rahul. Everything was going smooth until the host slipped some of the ticklish questions. In a light-hearted manner, Pandya replied to all the questions with indecency. When the interview was posted online, his sexist comments were not welcomed and he was mercilessly roasted on social platforms. Legal action was taken against both cricketers and BCCI also suspended them for their behaviour. This eventually led to Karan Johar stopping the series altogether. Kevin Peterson Matt Pryor was the big cheese. Peterson was an individual who was always in the limelight for both the right and the wrong reasons. The year 2012 turned out to be a nightmare for him as he was dropped for disciplinary and dressing room issues. Though he was called back in the 2013 Ashes series, the problems never got resolved. A mediocre performance led to a complete fallout with the ECB, which brought his glittering career to a disruptive end. Exactly after one year, KP released his biography, where he claimed that Andy Flower was one of the reasons why his cricketing expedition ended on a sorry note. He also criticised Matt Pryor for his bossy attitude when the wicketkeeper was the vice-captain of the team. According to Peterson, Pryor was the main reason why everybody fell out with him in the dressing room. Some of the England players came out in his support and it took some time to get the dust settled. Kagiso Rabada Virat Kohli is immature, can't take abuse. Kagiso Rabada is easily one of the best fast bowlers in the world right now. Maybe he hasn't bowled to his full potential, but no one can deny the fact that he's a talent powerhouse. In the 2019 World Cup, just before India vs South Africa match, Rabada used the classic fast bowler technique of sledging the best batsman of opposition in the pre-match conference, which in this case was Virat Kohli. The pace had termed the Indian skipper is immature, who cannot take sporting banter in his stride. He also added that Kohli is a difficult character to understand. In reply, Virat downplayed the comment and suggested a man-to-man -man discussion with Rabada. Though the Indian skipper didn't take the comment seriously, his fans really got annoyed and it became a piece of front-page news. Arjuna Ranatunga 2011 World Cup final was fixed. The Sri Lankan cricket is going through a dark phase with many match-fixing allegations raised in the last couple of years. Even the cricketing system has taken a hit as many of the former players are questioning the current scenario of the sport in the country. One of them is their World Cup winning captain, Arjuna Ranatunga. In 2017, when the island nation lost an ODI series against Zimbabwe, Ranatunga made a shocking revelation on his Facebook page. In that post, the former Sri Lankan skipper explained how he was shocked by his countrymen's loss in the 2011 World Cup. 
He demanded an immediate probe and added that he has doubts on a couple of individuals of that team. Ranatunga was adamant that something hideous happened on that night at Wankhede. It became trending news in the cricketing circle and many Indian players rubbished the criticism. Some of these statements may not be as controversial as others, but they can create the same impact or maybe more so thanks to our media. Do let us know which one of these is the most controversial according to you. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and press the like button, the share button and do subscribe to Simli Chuma for more fun and entertaining videos from the world of sports.